Hey, welcome to Coffee with Wave. Today, we're going to take a look at how new players are entering into markets, leveraging strategies common in other industries to level the playing field and successfully win market share from established brands. When there is an abundance of choice in a market competing for the same business, if sales and marketing teams aren't effectively communicating their value over competitors, then newcomers and established brands can easily become seen as equals. Uh, the reaction to this sometimes results in market consolidation as these new startups make a splash and they disrupt an industry, they're often quickly acquired by established brands. The question is, are these startups always more innovative than the established brands? And if not, why are they able to win business from them? Perhaps the answer has more to do with strategy than innovation. And we find that established companies often have and fall victim to status quo managers that block new ideas or approaches that could help them where startups are open to any and all advantages at their disposal to help them to win over competitors. So how are startups beating established brands? Well, the last three years really accelerated a lot of these disruptive brands because they were already fully equipped and optimized for digital selling. So once prospects and customers and channel partners started working from home, these newer brands were able to fill the void left by the established brands who are struggling to adapt and they gained significant market share. Many of these startups are leveraging revenue operations or RevOps to tightly integrate marketing, sales, and customer success to generate revenue. This allowed them to increase engagement by leveraging tools like conversational intelligence, uh, sales engagement platforms, social selling, buyer intent data, automation, multimedia, and a lot of others. Uh, we saw this as an important initiative for our own growth over six years ago and reshaped our entire company around revenue operations, uh, invested heavily in software solutions and certifications. We did this to provide our clients with more value, uh, to help them optimize their workflow between their marketing and their sales departments. Well, startups also leverage their investment in digital selling to implement both direct and indirect sales channels to increase revenue. Because when brands leave demand generation mostly to their channel partners, this adds an enormous amount of pressure to have an incredible level of partner engagement just to ensure that their partners are able to recognize uh, the right opportunities for their products, uh, that the partner can easily communicate their value proposition over competitors to successfully win business. Otherwise, partners will stop selling their products after losing enough deals. Uh, that's why alignment between revenue teams and software is so important because it really allows companies to, number one, reach their partners where they're at. Number two, provides the right type of content and frequency. And number three, it quickly allows them to respond to partners when they're in need of help. Well, a good channel development program helps to connect customer pain points and solutions, value over competitors, and ensures that channel partners are engaged through meaningful communication versus check-ins. I hope you found this edition of Coffee with Wave helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding revenue operations, implementing software, or implementing one of our channel development programs. Until next time, all the best. This is Dave with Wave.